A new emergency law will in the first 30 days of a Liz Trust government end the power of militant left-wing unions from bringing the country to its knees. The foreign secretary, who has appeared to be portraying herself as the new Margaret Thatcher has vowed that if she is made prime minister on September 5 she will complete the Iron Lady's legacy of clamping down on union industrial action. It comes as the hard-left RMT union plans another series of strikes over, around 40,000 workers at Network Rail and more than a dozen train companies will go ahead on Wednesday, July 27, as they continue to seek a massive inflation fueling pay rise. Mus Trust said, we need tough and decisive action to limit trade unions' ability to paralyze our economy. I will do everything in my power to make sure that militant action from trade unions can no longer cripple the vital services that hard-working people rely on. She has put the blame for the hardline action at the feet of trade union barons like the RMT's Mick Lynch and has vowed to end their Among the reforms Most Trust will introduce will be a minimum service level on critical national infrastructure, introducing primary legislation in the first 30 days of government. She will also raise ballot thresholds to make it harder for strike action to take place across all sectors. The train drivers' strike is just the first of a series planned by hard-left trade unions with teachers, nurses and even doctors threatening walkouts over pay. A campaign spokeswoman for the Trust Leadership Campaign said, Liz is determined to stand up for people who work hard and do the right thing. For too long, trade unionists have been able to hold the country. Stand up.